So, why did I write Real Science for Kids? Well, when I was in graduate school, I was working on my PhD in chemistry, and my kids were little, and we decided that we wanted to teach them some science. And I found out it was very easy to teach young kids uh, science concepts like chemistry and you know physics and biology. And so I decided to really just do an experiment with my own children and write a curriculum that would give kids this foundation, what, what you know, the, the real elements of science in a, in a curriculum. And so I started teaching my oldest uh, physics. And she really liked it, and she was able to grasp most of the things that I was uh, trying to tell her. So I decided to write a whole science series that would give kids the foundation they needed for high school or college level science. See, one of the problems that I had when I went to college is that I really felt unprepared for upper level college classes, and particularly chemistry and physics. I had done well in high school, and I had taken all of the science classes that my high school offered, and yet when I walked into my first science chemistry class in, as, an, as an undergraduate, I really wasn't very well prepared for the material that the professor was presenting. So, after I finished my PhD, I looked back on my education and it really occurred to me that what was missing were the foundational building blocks for chemistry and physics that I could have gotten when I was much younger. And so chemistry and physics and all of science really is, is no different than learning a language or learning music or learning math. There are particular building blocks that kids need to have in place before they get to a high school or college level a science class. And when I looked at the elementary curriculum that was available, I noticed that none of these building blocks were in there. Uh, science curriculum for elementary and mid-school students really don't teach real chemistry or real physics. And yet it's these building blocks in real chemistry and real physics that's needed to understand high school or college level science. And so I did this experiment with my oldest child and I taught her some real physics concepts and I taught her some real chemistry concepts, and it turns out she was able to understand them quite well. And that is really the reason that I started writing Real Science for Kids, and then my friends' kids wanted to, to use the curriculum, and my friends wanted to use the curriculum, and so from there I launched the company. And Real Science for Kids now is in uh, all 50 states, and in many, uh, I don't know, my 50 countries around the world, and we have a number of different products available. We have chemistry, physics, and biology, and I'm currently working on geology and astronomy books. Um, I, I encourage parents to teach kids chemistry starting in first grade. So my pre-level chemistry is for grades, uh, you know, K through four. My uh, level one chemistry can start around grades four and five and go through grade six or seven. And then I'm working on a level two chemistry and physics and biology that is for the upper uh, mid-school and high school. And so what I'm trying to do is give kids a foundation of real science concepts, the, the language of science, the concepts of science, some of the math that you find in science uh, before they get to high school.